Hello friends, welcome back. If you are developing a theme, then you should visit this theme unit test. Okay, so if you go to the make.wordpress.org slash themes and then uh, their themes handbook and under the review and the theme unit test, you can find this uh, this XML file, all right? So this uh, XML file you can import. It will, uh, this XML file is the export of the content or the many other content, right? Like they provide a content, uh, initial content, which we uh, the theme developer can use to test their design, the theme design, layout, and other design elements of, for, uh, again, that content, right? So we don't have to create um, like many types of content uh, by like manually in our WordPress site to test our theme design uh, against any type of content, right? So you can go through this uh, uh, handbook page and you will learn about what are the content that have been added through that XML file. So you can download that XML file you can go through the tools and import uh, into the WordPress site and you can import. I think for that you need WordPress importer plugin. So that plugin you can install. And after installing that plugin, you can see uh, importing the XML file from the WordPress, which is we call the WXR as well, right? So that uh, that file you can import in your local site and you will have the content. Like uh, since like in my local sites, I have uh, included all this content all the blocks related and other content. There are almost 53 or 50 published posts are there. All of this content I have uh, imported from that XML file. So into the tools, you can go to the import method. Okay, and you can see the WordPress and you can see install now because currently the WordPress importer plugin is not installed. So you can install that plugin. And after installing the plugin, you can import that WXR file. Okay, WordPress export file. And then we have that content, including the media as well, right? So this uh, this content is very like very helpful to get started developing the theme, okay? So you can go through it. So you can, uh, you can go through this handbook page, which is very helpful to get started, okay? So now let's see about like uh, in entire this video series, I'm not gonna creating a new theme but I will use the existing default team uh, 2021 team, which is a classic team uh, to, to as a reference point to learn more about theme development functionality. What kind of functionality we can add? What are the best practices are there? What functions we have to keep in mind and how we can do uh, like more into the theme development part. Okay. So if you go to the editor into the WP content directory, including the themes, um, there is a 2021 team and there is another team, 2022 team, which is the class uh, block team. Okay. So into the 2021 classic team, you can see the style.css file. Okay. So here is a style.css file. So here the style.css file, you can see this uh, header, right? Uh, theme name, theme in uh, URI, author, author URI description, required at least, which is the minimum WordPress version required, tested up to, uh, up to the which latest version, the, uh, this team has been tested then required PHP file. Like what is the PHP version is required Then what team version licenses, tax domain tax, all some, most of the informations you are familiar if you, you know about a plugin development, right? In the plugin also, we have added similar, uh, header information. All this information can be seen into the, go to the, uh, appearance, go to the teams. Uh, go to the yeah, here team details and you can see the team name you can see the active team because this team is currently activated by the wordpress team which is the author of that team uh, they enable auto updates which is the wordpress core features if you want to enable the auto updates of the team then team description you can see the tags here you can see the versioning here all this information will be displayed by the wordpress by getting that information from the style.css okay and here in the wordpress team you can see all the list like many more css coded uh, added it here and this css file have been included uh, into the front end to load the css okay and then there is an index.php file Okay, so currently um, this team have multiple template files and we will go through it as you can see into this on uh, this explorer. Okay, uh, there are like header, footer and the main content area, the template parts and everything. Those all things we will learn and go through a step by step and how we can manage the templating files and how we can use the default template as well, how we can create a custom templates too. Okay, but generally if, uh, if your site uh, like only you are providing the layout, like the design, there is no JavaScript, 
nothing no other functionality into the front you are just displaying the content by from uh, fetching from the wordpress to into the front end there is no net nothing right no other functionality you are just displaying the content but having some simple layout and anything all of things can be done by index.php itself but in that case you have to manage multiple template files there are many templating are there archive single different archive pages for author taxonomy categories tags many 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 template files are there if you are managing that like conditionally then the all code will be in the index.php file okay and eventually it will be like difficult to maintain in a longer run and you have to rely on the conditionals conditionals like if else it will be uh, like there will be many more if else um so uh, we like the 2021 team has divided all this into the different templates and keep it very simple so we will go through it um step by step okay so this is uh, like minimum requirement style.css and index.php and nothing else okay so yeah um that's all about into the theme development introduction okay so what you can do after watching this video you can like install the theme if the default theme is not installed right now okay Go, uh, if that theme you need test data haven't uh, import, imported in your local system please import it so that you have some content in your local site uh, which is which can be very helpful to in the theme development in the testing as well into the front end right and go through this style.css and and some of the theme files and in upcoming videos we will learn more about it yeah uh, thanks for watching uh, see you on the next one joy wordpress